It's one of those, why did a whole family of chickens cross the road jokes? Because <laughs> Sylvie was on one side. Um, hey, so uh, I'm in the middle of my afternoon run. Hey puppy. And um, so uh, I lost my last fight. It was a rematch again against uh, Yu Ding, so Sumali. We fought, I think, six times now. Um, she beat me the first time we met, and then I've won all of them up until this last one, so it's like bookended. Um, but it was a disappointing fight in a lot of ways because I didn't do things that I wanted to do. Um, and I kind of felt like I was, you know, kind of stunted in this particular way of not being able to get in. And then she's clearly been working on her clinch game, which is kind of how I was winning before. So good on her <laughs> for solving that problem and definitely uh, giving me a challenge to improve my game for the next time we meet. Um, I was going to have another fight on Wednesday, which is in four days from today. Um, so I was going to be fighting every week. I was going to fight the uh, 22nd, which I did, and then the 30th, which is this Wednesday. And then I was going to fight again on the 8th. Um, but um, three years ago, I always say two years ago, but it's actually been a year now. Um, three years ago, the first time I came to Thailand, um, I spent four weeks down at Sasaprapa Gym in Bangkok, in Bangkok, and um, the owner of Sasaprapa Gym, Takun, who's a really cool guy, I like him a lot, um, I've been seeing him on my Facebook page, he likes photos and <laughs> tells me congratulations on fights and stuff, which makes me feel awesome. Um, he contacted me uh, maybe a week ago and said that he's been looking at me fighting up in Chiang Mai and would I be interested in taking a fight in Isan. Um, he said the people of Isan would love to see you fight, which was stroking my ego in a number of ways because I actually really want to go to Isan. Um, I've wanted to go for quite a while, but it's complicated. Um, I don't really travel that much. You know, I'm fighting all the time, so I'm always here. Um, but going to Isan for a fight. Sorry, there's this puppy you gotta see. Hey, puppy. Not interested. Um, so going to Asan for a fight is a really good reason to go to Asan, and it's a really good way to see Asan. Um, so I told him, let me talk to my managers because it's really not my call. Um, so I went and I gave it to Den. And at the time when he was looking at it, I was already scheduled to fight in Chiang Mai, um, and that wasn't a problem. You can totally, you know, change um, last minute in Thailand. But the difficulty was that the cost of going to uh, Nongbo Lampu, which is the place in Asan where it is, um, the cost of that was greater than the purse I'd be getting, which Lana is not super intent on making money in fights, but you definitely don't want to lose money in, uh, in going to a fight. So he had said, not this time, but maybe next time, um, if you can pull more of our fighters all at once, it would make more sense because we can all, you know, have the expense of renting the van and then have more purses to kind of make up for it. And so that's kind of where it was left. Um, but I was really excited by having Takun and Den talking to each other and the prospect of sometime in the future maybe getting to uh, to go fight somewhere. And then, sorry, it's a long story. So anyway, a, a little while later, a couple, maybe like right before this last fight or maybe right after this last fight, um, Andy came back from Hill Camp, which was one of the reasons it was difficult for me to go to Asan is that there was no one to run the camp while Dan was gone. And now that Andy's back, um, he's going to bring me to Asan. So now the fight's back on. So I am fighting in Asan on February 9th um, at Nongbu Alampu, and it's put on by a promoter who is in charge of Channel 7 and Channel 11. I think it's going to be airing on Channel 11. Um, my fight won't be on TV, but it's for a big event, which is exciting. And I get to fight in Asan chick, which is so cool. I actually have to make weight, which I haven't had to do in forever. Um, it's going to be at 45 kilos. I walk around at like 47 right now. Um, so it's not a big deal. It's just dropping water. Um, but I haven't had to do that. So I'm a little bit neurotic about whatever. <laughs> like weighing myself every morning and starting to pay more attention to what I'm eating. And, you know, see if I can drive myself down so that it's just a really, really easy cut. Um, you weigh in at like... 
6.30 in the morning and then you fight at night, same day. Um, but it's super exciting. I'm really excited to be fighting in a sun. I'm super excited to have, um, you know, a chance to kind of go into what I consider to be the heartland of Muay Thai and um, fight someone who I don't know anything about, I've never met before, I may never see again. People of Asan probably would like to see me fight, I don't think they got a lot of uh, Farang fighters over there. Um, and when I did the festival fights here a couple months ago in areas that did not see a lot of Farang fighters, they went crazy when I was fighting. So. That's good. I hope to be able to uh, put on a good show and, uh, you know, give the promoter something to think about and just look forward to uh, a new adventure. So that's what's coming up now. Um, unfortunately, the fight between my last fight and the ninth just, just got taken away. So I'm not fighting on Wednesday, even though I've been training as if I am. Um, they decided kind of today that they don't want to risk any kind of elbow cuts or whatever before the ninth. Um, which kind of bums me out, but I told Den that as long as he can promise me that I can fight twice after the ninth, so that I'm still getting three fights in a month, um, then I'm all game for, you know, switching this one out. And he said, no problem. He said I could fight three times if I wanted to. So that's good. Um, but I'll let you guys know um, as details emerge, and I'm sure I'll be filming, you know, the trip down there, and for sure the fight's going to go up, so that's exciting. And a new chapter for Sylvie and Muay Thai in Thailand. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna practice my uh, tones so that if anyone asks me questions in Hassan, I can try to answer in Thai and not sound like a crazy person. Uh, but yeah, back to my run. Almost at the Boy Scout camp. I'll talk to you guys later. Sorry for being all breathy. Bye. <laughs>